Hello creative people and welcome back to my channel. You guys voted for this beautiful top for me to create and it was 90% 90% of you voted for me to create this top. So I'm super excited to show you. So get your scissors and your fabric and let's get started. To create this pattern you need basic pattern for bodice you can find that on my channel once you have the basic pattern the first we are going to start with the front piece first measurements are going to be eight centimeters from the bust line upwards where the sleeve is then I'm creating this shape just to um, explain that this is the bust and we have to cover that as much as possible so from the bust line middle I'm measuring eight centimeters so four on each side and also seven centimeters on this side and try to create like more of a shape than just a straight line because my breasts are a little bit bigger I will be measuring the um, length from the breast and for me it's 18 centimeters so I had to make this even bigger also I'm going to take away the incisions then I'm going to create this big like ruching for the breast so I divided my pattern as you can see in many pieces and then I cut each piece straight and I just uh, taped each piece besides it about one centimeter distance from each other um, as you can see also I'm going to add one extra centimeters but that is one mistake that I did so don't add this extra centimeter uh, except just try to cut the pattern in the same shape that it is because it really needs to fit with the back side as well also I created this little extra fabric that is underneath the breast Moving on to the back side, for the back piece I'm taking my front and just placing the side so it's the same because we are going to match them together and also I'm measuring from that point uh, downwards about 7 centimeters um, and that is going to be the back um, lower line um, and also I'm just going to create like open like more open back just adding one centimeter on that line as well. For the sleeves, I'm going to add about 12 centimeters on each side and just connecting that with the top. Then I'm going to divide this pattern in many pieces just to create these big fluffy sleeves. And here are all of the patterns. Tiola, I'm using two meters of linen fabric. I will be using these hooks, but in the end, I changed into something else. You can use buttons if you want. An elastic band, my pattern, measuring band, scissors, a pen or a crayon, and of course, you will need some pins. And don't forget a safety pin as well. The first step as always is to place the pattern on the fabric, measure one centimeter for the sewing and cut out all of the pieces. For the front piece, I'm going to start to sew the upper line and the lower line for that top and for these two pieces, just the side and the upper line and the lower line. Then I'm going to flip them inside out and iron them as you can see here. I 
I'm going to fold about one centimeter inwards right here in the middle and then I'm going to create two loops on the upper line and the lower line and also I'm going to sew the straight line so these middle lines won't like show so I have a nice edge. Once you have sewed the loops, you can actually buy ribbons, but I really wanted to match the top, so I created it from the same fabric ribbons, and I will be placing these ribbons through these loops. So you will have four loops with four ribbons, and you will use a safety pin for that. on to the sleeves for the sleeves you're going to sew the upper line and the lower line with the straight line flip it inside out iron it and then you're going to sew again a straight line to create a loop both on the upper line and the lower line and then you will be placing the elastic band through those loops and then connect the sides together Moving on to the back side, for the back side um, you can actually if you want to sew the incisions but I was a little bit afraid that it will not fit because linen is not stretchy fabric, it's very stiff um, but if you want you can do it, that is also one more mistake that I forgot to do. Also as you can see here I start to sew the upper line and the lower line and then I flip it inside out and I iron it and then I took the front pieces and attached them to the sides. Now it's time to attach the sleeves and you can do this by hand or you can just sew it by sewing machine. The last step is to sew the opening. Now I actually realized that the top was a little bit too big for me so I had to take away quite a long piece uh, from the both sides and I found a much better piece to close this um, top with instead of using the hooks or the buttons but you can choose any other things that you want. And this is the finishing product, this is how the top turned out, it's just amazing and beautiful top, I really really love it. There are a few mistakes that I did but you know I think it just it turned out pretty beautiful so I'm very satisfied with it. Um, I have to say that sadly I will not be able to wear it, I will just take some pictures with it but you know I live in Sweden and we do not have that much 
warm weather here so i'm gonna have to wait till summer i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful and useful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like always if you have any other suggestions what kind of videos you would like to see please comment below or send me images on my instagram all of my links are listed in my description box below so you will have the chance to vote again see you till next time Hey, Noah.